Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechah which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a heart of Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and never waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another spiritual spill. And as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit and at best, I'll quote precepts, okay? Now, um, what I want to speak on in this episode, you know, um, you know, seeing the times that we're living in and, you know, uh, being made privy, uh, giving that eye salve, so to speak, to the times and, you know, understanding what it takes to be able to endure the times that are coming, okay? And, um, you know, obviously brothers understand, we understand that the, the lot we're in, okay? But we, we need to consider ourselves highly blessed, man. Now, obviously, okay, uh, we still have to endure to the end for us to be out of here, okay? But nonetheless, let's, let's uh, you know, give thanks for, for what we have up to now, okay? And that's the proper and true understanding of the scriptures, okay? Which, like the scriptures say, uh, is imperative to saving of our souls, you know? And um, when you sit back and look, you know, I, I, I was, uh, I had the, uh, you know, the ability to go out to, uh, out west, you know, go to Vegas, and, um, you know, went to Arizona as well, and for, you know, for no apparent reason, you know, going through those airports and seeing all these people, the thought popped in my head like, man, the Lord really, 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 really loves us, man, okay? Because just amongst Israel alone, you know, it, and it's safe to say, uh, well, I'll say in America, there are millions of Israelites, man, you know, let alone in the world, billions. And the Heavenly Father saw fit, okay, to call us out of the world, man, and show us his, his secrets, you know? Opposed to all the people in the planet, man, that is that is very, very, very honorable, man, you know? And of course, you know, the end game is for what? It's for us to be delivered, obviously, okay? But up until this point, man, we need to be extremely, extremely thankful, okay? And the reality is we can't be thankful enough, you know? Because here it is, we didn't, we, we didn't bring ourselves into this ministry, okay? We're not the ones that, uh, that uh, you know, basically uh, willed ourselves to continue to endure you know, it's the spirit of the Heavenly Father working within us, man. You know? And we, hey, every brother in this troop knows his past. You know? And we know the things that we, you know, we still go off. You know, the scriptures say that all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory. You know? So even in this ministry, you know, things that we do, but more, more importantly, uh, prior to us coming into this ministry, man, you know? And, and the Lord saw fit out of all these people, okay, to call us, you know? And we get it now, we understand. Do We understand the, the significance and the power of understanding prophecy, okay? Because most importantly, what, do you, what, what does it enable you to do? Okay, which is through the Spirit as well. It's not of yourself, okay? But what does understanding prophecy enable you to do? basically to get out of the way of the most high man you know i did a, a lesson on that a while back man get out of the lord's way you know and the way to do that is for the lord to have imparted to you the understanding of the scriptures and more importantly prophecy you know and that gives us that foresight so we can we know what's coming okay like the scriptures say a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself 
And that's what the Lord has allowed us to do, to, to, to foresee what's coming, okay, and how. And, and people look at it like, you know, you say you're a prophet or you, you, you uh, can, we understand prophecy. They look at it something like, you know, like mythical or is magic. Nah, the, the Bible is a book of prophecy, <laughs> okay? The Heavenly Father revealed what he's going to do before he does it. That's how he operates, okay? Which is, oh man. The biggest, the greatest benefit on the planet to understand prophecy. So what? So you can get out of the Lord's way, man, because he's coming. And he doesn't care about, he's no, the scriptures tell you, the Heavenly Father is no respect of persons, okay? He don't care if you got five little young kids, you know? You just got married. He don't care about none of that shit, man, okay? If you're in the way, you're getting rolled over, okay? Why? Because we're coming into the times of judgment. You know, and it's just, it's, it's, you know, words can't uh, uh, put in context, you know, how blessed we are, man. You know, consider yourselves blessed. Now, obviously, when you go into that word blessed, it uh, ultimately means to be bowed down unto. Okay. And obviously, hey, on this side, like the scriptures say, we're unprofitable servants. But on this side, the scriptures also say we're going to get fame. Okay, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for deliverance and to avoid the wrath of the Heavenly Father, okay? And for His purpose, for the Heavenly Father's purpose, He called us out of the world and showed us what's about to happen, man, you know? And I mention this a lot. <laughs> I mention this a lot, man. One of the the uh, the greatest uh, tidbits I got from the elder Apostle Tahar is, uh, you know, He's really not, you know, uh, uh, wearying himself, you know, with wondering, you know, or anticipating the day of the Lord. Obviously, we're hastening it, and he's hastening, obviously, okay? But he said he's more enlightened and more thankful that the Lord has showed him this word, and he has the, the capability of teaching it, okay? And that should be our mindset. And once he said that, like, my whole mindset in this ministry shifted. And that was maybe about four or five years ago, you know? Because when you come into this thing, man, you 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 just know the Lord coming soon. And the, the, the Spirit does that so that uh, uh, you're compelled to come into this thing, uh, uh, you know, straight away. You know, you, you're not tearing to turn unto the Lord. Like the scripture said, tarry, uh, tarry not to turn to the Lord, you know, for in your securities you, you shall be destroyed, roughly paraphrasing. You know, but, um, you know, that was one of the greatest tidbits. It, it, it changed my focus. My focus was on obtaining wisdom and knowledge, which is going to be the stability of our times, opposed to worrying about when the Lord is going to return. Hey, he's going to come back when he comes back. You need to make sure that you're doing what you need to do to be exempt. You see? And if you're focused on that, you know, hey, you uh, as the scriptures say, wherever, where your heart is, there shall your treasure be also. Okay? And that's all we got to continue to do, brothers. But, hey, in the meantime, being thankful, man. Hey, because, hey, we're all catching hell. Okay? The elder apostle Todd deemed it what? The year of the turning up of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. You know? And that's on all levels. All avenues, afflictions, infirmities, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding being increased. Uh, uh, uh. Seeing the, the demise and the downslide and the backsliding of these pseudo Hebrew Israelite groups, just like the elder said would happen. Okay, so everything is turning up, you know, infirmities, okay, fighting demons, you know, so we got to rely on our comforts, okay, which ultimately is the scriptures, but understanding how blessed and how favorable you are, man, for you to know this. There are a lot of Israelites, okay, that are out here that are, are never going to hear one one millionth of what we know. Okay, now, the scriptures say, have they not heard? Yes, all, all Israelites are going to hear that we are the children of Israel and that you should conform. Just this morning, I heard on mainstream radio, okay, you know, how they do those little question segments. And uh, the question was, um, well, one guy, uh, uh, you know, said he converted to being a black Hebrew Israelite and his wife, uh, you know, wasn't sure, you know, was, 
you know, she was asking the question, what should she do? And, um, you know, that was the question, you know, on mainstream radio. And, you know, usually there's a blackout on, 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 on you know, on what we're a part of, you know? So the, 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 the reality is our people are, and that's all you need to hear that you're an Israelite. That's all you need to hear. Okay. You don't need to hear the deep breakdowns and the deep saying, okay. Cause you got to earn that. The scriptures say what? Buy the truth and sell it not. Meaning you got to spend your time seeking, you know, nobody gave us this truth. Now, obviously through the spirit, okay. Called us into this ministry, but, uh, we had to work for it, man. Okay, you had to put in time. You know, there's tangible facts, okay, about you walking in this faith. Now, obviously, it's the Lord wielding you, but yeah, we got notebooks, okay? We've studied. The scriptures say what? Study to show thyself approved, and we've done that, okay? And we need to continue to do that until the end. But the blessing is for us to even be called into it, man. And uh, we got a fighting chance. You know, we got a fighting chance. And you look around, man, these people are clueless. They don't have a fucking clue, you know? But we do, we do. And we need to praise the Lord more and thank him more for that, man. Okay, so hey, Akim, consider yourselves blessed, man. So I believe I hit the point and Lord willing, I was edifying with that. I say Shalom.